Hi Nepa Theory viewers. Today we are going to see the topics related with the file upload control. We are already discussed in the previous two videos about how to save the file and how to check the file whether it's present or not. Today, uh, today we are going to see how to check or how to allow only that something example dot pdf dot doc that is word document only let me see how it works i will show you all the format you know, like jpeg only jpeg or only png like that it is simple to understand simple to handle this kind of codes please keep to watch to understand the things this is a file upload control i have added previous videos you already know about the file, uh, file upload you just see what the things i added previously it's a label i added the three things i added in submit on click event um, i am given this is a event handler i given um, file if the file upload has a file it will pause this it means it save this file otherwise it won't and it will show it throws the error like no files found okay here i am going to add one string string i am giving something called file extension so we are going to check the files extension only because i am think it's called a dot pdf or dot uh, doc so i am just giving the name related with that as file extension here we are going to use one namespace called system dot iou iou yeah system dot iou here we are going to add in that library files because I will uh, contain that uh, file extend characters that I will show you in that video I'm just adding here namespace okay if you have any little bit doubt I will add you here directly like okay uh, I'm just adding the path here okay it's a little bit confusing for you I think for a beginners so I am um, just uh, deleting this kind of things you are understanding right the system dot io contain this path location we need to get the path of the file so right before that I am just deleting this name space instead of that I am directly using calling the system yes that is a namespace so open and close bracket you can from near to that yeah this is the things uh, system dot ioa dot path i am going to get the path dot extension dot get the extension i am give marking on path that path i need to get the extension of that file that means that path where you i am going to mention that here i am pausing the path as file upload dot file name that file name is uh, entire uh, it will act as a path there I can able to get that file extension and dot file name I am closing the bracket and semicolon C sharp coding I am using so for VB.20 it is a little bit different that uh, you can learn I will explain you in VB.20 also but nowadays uh, C sharp is mostly we are using so I mean just to add this kind of tutorials okay now if that file extension dot to lower to lower means it's a n, n file uh, we can uh, divide that path into three types right uh, upper lower middle like that so I'm getting the lower file is not equal to dot PDF if it's not equal to that is a, a simple we are using not equal to pdf then it, it will uh, throws the error otherwise uh, it will save us save that as it is if you have any confusion you just comment out i will explain you clearly Yeah, it's showing some error. Uh, what is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, dot PDF. We need to pause as a string. 
okay it's uh, it's uh, here i am just given as a string or not in a string type so i am just adding this kind of string yeah is that yeah no it's not so because um we need to pause as a string it's not like it's taking as something like method or something it will act as so now uh, in else if it's uh, else then it will shows it will save the files actually here i'm going to do one mistake if you find out i just came out it before watching this video then you can easily understand that you are a capable as a dotnet developer here one logic is missing actually adding one file it's not contain dot pdf or dot jx in that lower case i'm just adding one jpeg file okay i'm giving some it it's told that it saved successfully what is the issue one minute okay you can find the error here right the issue is uh, um that there is a logic is missing if it's not a pdf i am just saving one of the files here also awesome uh, now file also um it's not happening here if you're using um not equal to if you equal to, it won't work because it throws some error this is an extension error that i will explain you in detail initially you just learn um, these basic things then that is good for you Mm, okay, I'm just copy and paste this code. Now you can see. Now you have the logic here. If it's not a PDF, it will show allows only the PDF or document here. Otherwise, it will save if it is a document PDF or not document. Then it will save the file. Now it now it's showing this error right because there is a dot jpeg image so it's throwing the error I'm just one visual studio keyboard is a dot pdf file oops, oops. Mm. actually it's if you double then click it won't work because it's a browser it is like a browser compatibility it's not saving in real time okay while it's saving now this is good okay that pdf file it's saving in some format it will compatibility with visual studio uh, if you used Adobe Viewer, Adobe Photoshop, or oh, sorry, Adobe Viewer, it will work. Okay, now I'm going to give JPEG, JPG, sorry, mm, and something called GP, JPG. Uh, there is a fo two format in JPEG, so I'm giving. Only I'm going to upload the JPEG file. Let me see. Something is going to be. I'm just running because that is uh, previous values stay saved in this wave state wave state and session state is important things we need to be learned mm, if you have any doubt you just go to our previous videos yes that is a jpeg image okay I'm just saving this image and giving this summit yes it saves successfully 
I'm just starting. Yes, I it. Ah, uh, it's allows only the PDF photo. Oops. Here I given the message wrong. It's a simple thing. You can change the message. Only the back image. Then it work. Okay, no issue. It's a simple thing. You need to be learn clearly. I'm just running the application again. This is for your reference. You can easily understand. This is a bit easier to understand. If you have any doubt, you just comment out. Submit. Yeah. It's showing now only the JPEG image. That's it. Today's tutorial. Please subscribe for more. Next video, I will show you how to control the size or restrict the size of the file which we are going to upload. Thanks for watching, guys.